match. All right, and we're uh, back here, and uh, looks like George is pissed off about that Twix bar again. You remember that episode? I do. I didn't know he would be still so upset with it, though, well, but I, I, I guess, guess it makes so. some sense. I guess it happened again. I guess uh, Horatio Kane took the last Twix bar. I... <laughs> yeah, with George Costanza backstage, you really should know better than to do that. Yeah, you know, if you see something jammed in the machine where you can get two for the price of one, you probably shouldn't take it. Then again, is incurring the wrath of George Costanza really that scary? I don't think so, Ray. What, what can uh, George possibly do? I'd be more afraid of Kramer than George. I think so. I mean, you never know what Kramer's going to do. <coughs> He's a little crazy. Yeah, I'd be more afraid of Horatio Kane than any of them. So Horatio Kane's going to wrestle in his suit? Yeah, at least he's Horatio Kane. Does his hair ever get messed up? No, it doesn't. I mean, if he can kick the bad guy's asses in his suit, I think he can wrestle in his suit. Okay. He does everything in style. I see. I tend to wear a big coin cloth in the ring, awesome. so I don't I don't have fancy suits. I was raised by wild rabbits. Well, you know, I mean, wearing a loin cloth, you know, it gives you more food than moving on. I mean, you know, I can't imagine you have much food than moving on wearing that suit. You know? That's right. I have to imagine it's somewhat constricting. And this guy, he's coming to the ring business casual. Yeah, that's George right, Costanza. So. Yeah, I, don't, I don't get it. The Yankees, no, they so. let a lot slip, right? Like, I don't think many organizations you could dress like this. I guess not, you know, but I don't, I don't know if he works for the Yankees anymore. Oh, I see. I thought you meant they let a lot slip when they let go of a George Costanza. Well, yeah. To some extent, I think that's correct. Yeah, I, um, yeah, I think, you know, well, you know, maybe he ate all the Twix bars or something. I don't know, but... You know, this is a, so this is a match over a Twix bar. I guess so. I mean, I guess it was already scheduled, but the uh, Twix bar had some... Uh, oh, a drop toe hold, and George is acting like he's been shot. Yeah, he's... Well, oh, my God, knee drop to the head. And he's got... They've both got glasses on. The last match, I mean, we had masked wrestlers. Yeah, now we got glasses wrestlers. So now wrestlers with glasses. Yeah, nuts. This is strange. Oh, almost a ref bump there. Yeah, almost... Um, no, I'd hate to see them. another one of those tonight. Well, I think this is an extreme rules match, so we shouldn't have to worry about it. Oh, that, that was extreme. Yeah, that was a crazy extreme uh, bump over there. And oh, George is uh, getting a guitar. Yeah, what's he going to do with that guitar? Not really known for his guitar playing, but... Oh! oh. Boy, that's not a guitar playing. He just... Uh, he smashed he just that guitar. Ice. What's he getting now? Yeah, it looks like uh, he's getting a mop here. Oh, a mop. You know, I, I just don't think a mop would hurt me that much. Oh, I guess not. And he's... Yeah doesn't think so either he's oh but whap yeah he's a little stunned from that mop shot there the mop knocks him down yeah Whoa, and he's to the going to town mop. now yeah. with the mop oh yeah. to the gut oh boy he about broke that mop over his I back i thought he was there. going to break it over his back yeah, that's what i thought too throws it down in disgust yeah now into the, uh, the barricade there. Honestly, if somebody was upset with me about a Twix, I'd be pretty disgusted too, like yeah, Horatio so. Kane. Yeah. I mean, George Costanza could stand to miss out on a Twix or two on occasion. Or three. Yeah, mix in a walk. Yeah, exactly. Mix in some broccoli. Yeah, well, I guess he's mixing in a wrestling match right now. That should be a pretty good um, pretty match. Yeah. Oh, the fans at ringside push him back in, it looks like, right? Yeah, I guess they don't want none of him lost. Uh, Kane's got a garbage can now. Is he going to hit the fans with it? No, I think he's... Uh, oh, no. He's taking out the trash. Oh, uh, George had it right on his head. Boy, this is a pretty brutal match, an Extreme Rules match here. Reminiscent of old school ECW. It is. It is brutal. Yeah, it's uh, a lot of objects being used here. Yeah, we've already seen a mop, a guitar, a trash can... George reverses and wow. puts it into a backbreaker. Horatio yeah, Kane's little, down. I'm a little shocked he was able to do that. Oh, oh. Boy, he's taking all his frustration with that garbage can. That's for the Twix. Boy, I wonder if he was playing another one of those crazy candy lineups like he did in that episode. Oh. Boy, there's, there's been a lot of uh, classic episodes uh, with uh, George. Like, remember that one with that suit? He was trying to get that suit. The suit. Oh, and he hit it. Yeah, he tried to hide it, and then that guy found out anyway. Yeah, that yeah, was pretty were, bad. Uh, yeah, George can get worked up about a lot of weird stuff. Yeah, he gets worked up over the dumbest things. Yeah, he really does. And now... Oh, 
Horatio Kane just punching him in the head. Boy, these two yeah. just hate each other, don't they? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that Twix really has well, yeah. caused an issue. Well, I mean, I don't know. I don't think Twix is that good of a candy bar. Really? Oh, I like them if they're cold. Well, I don't know. I don't even think I'd get this upset over British chocolate. No, I wouldn't get upset over candy anyway. Yeah, I mean. Oh, what's he got? Is that like a kendo that's stick? A kendo stick, yeah. Oh. Brutal takedown with oh, the kendo stick, yeah. and now shattering it on his knee almost. Oh, wow. Again to the knee. Oh, you can hear a lot of discussion about this in the audience back there. And the audience is pretty worked up about it. Yeah. Well, it's been a pretty uh, crazy, uh, crazy uh, match here. It's hard to get a sense of who the audience is behind in this match. Yeah. I imagine they'd be behind the fan favorite Horatio Kane. I mean... You know, George does an awful lot of feather ruffling. Yeah, that's that's how I see it. Yeah. Oh. Boy, now oh, into the, the table. table. Looks like he's uh, setting up, going to try and put him through the table here. Oh, vicious oh. chop. Oh. Vicious chop just burst in those capillaries. I do not think George should try this. No, um, I have my doubts. This seems bad. Oh, wow. it works. George Costanza just did a moonsault. I did not think I'd ever see that in my whole life. I know. To hear you insane. say it is shocking. I know. I, I can't believe I just said that. I can't believe what we're seeing here. And, and here comes another table. You know, even more oh. shocking. Um, they didn't go through the Portuguese announce table first. Yeah. Why yeah, they go is. right for the uh, Portuguese announce table? But not here. Instead, no. they've set up a new table. Yeah, George he, has. Uh, he spilled my diet soda. Ah. Oh, right through oh, that table. Right through wow. the table. A suplex through the table. Now he's getting the kendo stick. Oh. That Horatio diet, Kane has taken a beating here. Diet soda cost me four dollars. These prices are outrageous I at these agree. events. These crazy concession prices here. Yeah. Boy, this is a, this is just nuts. Yeah, it makes me sick that I have to pay seven dollars for a beer, Ray. I think so. Well, you know, some places it's apparently eleven dollars. You can buy a whole six pack for eleven dollars. Yes. You can buy a six pack of import beer for eleven dollars. Less than. Oh boy, man, hat and drop. Driving the knee right into the groin there. Oh, it looks uh -oh. like he's, uh, he's setting him up for the Shattered Dreams here. Wow, I can't believe George Costanza might actually win this match. It's looking like he's going I mean, to. Who would right? ever... Oh, wow, oh. he's back on his feet. Look at this. He's hulking up. Oh, a vicious chop. And he's hoisting him up for some Miami justice. Oh, uh, an airplane spin. Oh, and a power slam. That's what he calls the Miami justice. Dragging him away from the ropes. Smart Horatio move. Kane's gonna That's a veteran right here there. Here we go. One, two... Three. Veteran move. And Horatio Kane wins as always. Boy, what a brutal wow. match. That was kind of brutal. Okay. Kane takes it in the end. Yep, well, he always wants to get inside Miami. Horatio Kane always gets his man. I see. So if we're gonna, this time a short, balding fat man. Yeah, well, you know, if, uh, if you're going to get beef with Horatio Kane, you know, just best if he tells you you have a chance to do something, you better do something. Yeah, and not argue about candy bars with him. Yeah, don't, don't argue anything about anything. He's going to win it. It's just it's a bad idea. You know what I mean? That was a heck of a match, Ray. It was a great match. Brutal, but you know a classic, classic Extreme Rules match. Oh, good.